Hello everyone, Megatronic here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Legacy crossover with Volvo uh, Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now, before we get into this review, I did do some customizations to him, so we'll just go over those real quick. The blue I did, the silver I did, uh, the yellow and blue right there I did, the gunmetal bits here I did, and the gunmetal there I also did as well. So just know that you're not going to get the paint scheme on the figure um but before we do that let's go over the trailer um trailer would you would normally get would be in just a gray um this is gunmetal obviously i'm not 100 percent finished with this because there's still some brush marks i need to go over but uh he comes with this trailer there's a port there um you open it up if i can and it's just the standard earthrise trailer in there um i painted this uh dark gray and i just masked off this section because i wanted a more g1 trailer but keeping the toy g1 stripe because his trailer in g1 was more of a gunmetal gray it is a mix between this blue and this blue the, there you go just so you guys can see him uh the gunmetal portions on his trailer hitch uh, the trailer itself, and then around the knee joints, is that, and then, because, I know I said I would stop using these paints, but these are really good chrome paints, I used this paint, which, it's a silver, it's just a tester's silver, just, just in case anyone's wondering, probably not, so, yeah, now, Optimus Prime, this head sculpt, by the way, I really hope, that we get a head sculpt like this on the 86 uh, Commander class. I really love this head. Very great head sculpt right there. I'm, I'm very much a fan of it. But yeah. Um, the reason why I painted his chest blue. Is because you can see the Matrix feet through it. And when Optimus Primes do that. It really does bug me. Um, in hindsight I probably should have gone with a lighter blue. But at the same time I don't really mind i just think it's too much of a close to this blue but hey you can't see it in vehicle mode because <laughs> this is a faux chest um but yeah just nice details overall i really do like this new design of optimus oh and i also painted the inside of his legs blue because it was way too much red for me sorry forgot about that but uh yeah great great optimus overall and i really do like how the backpack compresses on his back I just think it's a really nice and cool detail. A very a very different design from our normal Optimus, but a very welcome one. And uh, this Optimus Prime's great. We've been getting a really great Optimus Primes. Articulation, heads on the ball joint. You can't really, we can get some wiggle, wiggle waggle, but not much. Do a full 360. I can go up that far, down that far. Arms. Full 360 tires will get in the way. Go out to there. You got bicep swivel. Elbows. 90 degrees. And uh, wrist is on ball joint. See a bit of wiggle waggle. Got a waist swivel. Do a big boot. I just can go back that far. Do the full splits. Side swivel. 90 at the knee, ankle tiltage, which basically you can break the knee, and then the toes can pivot and so can the heel. And now let's move on to his comparisons. So here he is with the Leader Class Legacy Evolution Dreadwing. Just so you can get a sense of scale of, uh, in my opinion, more of a proper Leader Class of the uh, price point. Here he is with Voyager Class 86 Ironhide. Deluxe Class G2 Dead End. 86 Brawn. And finally, just because, Core Energon Megatron. Now, I'm going to get this guy into vehicle mode off camera, and I will uh, return to you with him in his uh, Volvo truck mode. And here we have him in his Volvo truck mode, and uh, this guy's pretty cool. 
I do like the color layout. Um, it's just a nice, nice truck mode. Um, yeah, I see these literally daily, so. I do like the colors. Um, I didn't paint any of the windows. You can see the blue behind that, which I kind of do like. It's like a little interior seats. Um, nice little Easter egg with the Matrix. I put it backwards, obviously. And I really do like how the feet look like seats in there. That's a very, very nice touch. And that's why I didn't paint any of these windows, because it looks cool. So, yeah. And then this is an Optimus Prime, so... There you go. Once again, the trailer. If this is finished, I might finish this uh, when I'm done recording. I just wanted to get this review out because I record all these one day when I have my day off. And stop motions take a lot out of me. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's cool. Um, I do wish they at least remolded these tires or wheels here to match these wheels. But it's fine, I guess. Hasbro's lazy, so. Yep. And uh, there ain't really anywhere to store it. You can see his head. Oh, it does. Everything does transform really neat, and it's a new, it's a nice new take on Optimus Prime's transformation, and just a nice modernization of his vehicle mode. Because to be completely honest, it kind of works for me. <laughs> um, it does kind of give me a uh, evasion mode Prime with the one smokestack, and uh, yeah, this guy's a fun figure. If you haven't gotten him by now, you got to. Pretty fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next one. Bye.